Zach. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus this week. And this week, hey, we're at the North Carolina DARE Officers Association. Carnival, Carnival for, for kids. kids, all right. It's great for us, right? But Kasha's gonna tell you all about it. And we've got a lot of information all over today's show. So grab that pen and paper so you can write that contact info down. And uh, hey, if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address at the end of the show. Cabarrus County has one of the strongest DARE programs in the state. Here in Cabarrus, the DARE program is a police officer-led series of classroom lessons that teach children from kindergarten through middle school how to resist peer pressure and live productive, drug and violence-free lives. It humanizes the police, that is, young people can begin to relate to officers as people. We're here at the North Carolina DARE Officer Association's annual Carnival for Kids, a fun event filled with entertainment for the entire family, including rides, games, and lots of food. This is the second year for the Carnival, and proceeds from last year covered the cost of training for 55 new DARE officers in North Carolina, including seven now assigned to elementary schools here in Cabarrus County. These officers teach children the skills to say no to alcohol and drugs and serve as conduits to provide information between the school, police, and parents to deal with other issues. The DARE program allows students to see officers in a helping role, not just a law enforcement role. To continue this wonderful program between law enforcement and our schools, the DARE Officer Association looks at ways to raise funds for programs throughout the state. Along with the carnival, a bass tournament on Baden Lake and a golf tournament are planned. For more information on the DARE program in Cabarrus County, call Deputy Keith Drake at 704-791. 2150. Just as learning doesn't end, you know, when school lets out, neither does the child's need for good nutrition. Now, the Summer Food Service Program provides free nutritious meals and snacks to Cabarrus County children so they get the nutrition they need to learn, play, and grow throughout the summer months, even when they're out of school. Now, the Cabarrus County Schools is looking for community organizations to host these meal sites where food is distributed. Now they can come, they can be in churches, rec centers, but any kind of safe locations. Now if you're part of a community group that might be of interest in becoming a 2015 Summer Food Service Program site, please reach out right now and learn how you can fill out this important role in your corner of Cabarrus County. So for more information, please contact Carrie Bostick at 704-784-5117 or Heather Davis at 704-784-5117. 784-5125, no later than May 22nd. Now spring has sprung and hasn't put a bounce in your step, oh, David. I, I'm already bouncing. Maybe you're doing the sock hop That's right. or the Lindy hop. There's lots yeah, of spring okay. hops you can have. Well, here's the sock hop for you. The Friday and Saturday night dances at the Senior Center in Concord All right. will have you grooving, moving, and toe-tapping the night away. On Friday, May 8th, you can swing to the beat of the Dixie Sundown Band. And on Saturday, May 9th, throw down with Night Train. All we right. love Night Train. On Friday, May 15th, move to the beat of Stony Creek. On Friday, May 22nd, check out the Horizons. Right. And we're going to take you through the month here. On Saturday, May 23rd, you can groove to the tunes of the Delmonico, right, some group. of our favorites as well. And on Friday, May 29th, you can two-step to country music legends. The Friday and Saturday night dances are at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord. That's at 331 Corbin Avenue from 7 to 10 p.m. And the cost is $5 at the door. And they are so much fun. Oh, absolutely. For more information on upcoming dances at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Concord, call 704-920-3484. Go celebrate the Mexican culture with music, games, door prizes. You can do all this on Tuesday, May the 5th at the Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant. They're gonna host a Cinco de Mayo party at 12 noon. Now learn about the historic significance of Cinco de Mayo, and also for more information or to register for the Cinco de Mayo party at the Cabarrus County Senior Center, that's in Mount Pleasant, on Tuesday, May 5th at 12 noon. Just call 704-920-3484. Now, are you always looking for a child or a grandchild or a neighborhood geek when it comes to technology? <laughs> yes. Right? Yes, I'm yes. your neighborhood geek when it comes to technology. The Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus Library is hosting a tech tutoring session on Thursday, May 7th. Drop in between 2 and 4 p.m. to have your technology questions answered. Maybe you have issues with email. 
Wonder how to do something in Microsoft Word? Yeah. Wonder what Microsoft Word is? <laughs> All very that. simple questions we can help you with. The techies on the library staff will help you find the answers. For more information on the tech tutoring program on Thursday, May 7th at 2 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the Cabarrus Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2080. Now, jellyfish are found in every ocean, from the surface to the deep, deep sea. Now, scientists believe jellyfish have roamed the seas for at least 500 million years, and possibly 700 million years. But who's counting? Okay. Right? A couple of 200 million years between friends, who cares? Okay, making them the oldest multi-organ animal on the planet. Now, learn more cool facts at Getting Jiggly with the Jellyfish <laughs> on Thursday, May 7th, beginning at 4.30 p.m. And that's at the Concord branch of the Cabarrus Library. Now, this is appropriate for ages 12, 5 to 12. And the library staff's going to have all kind of fun with jellyfish activities, kind of paired with stories about this cool creature. And you get to make a little Jiggly craft to take home and scare your fear. Okay, here we go. Now, for more information on getting Jiggly with the Jellyfish, the Concord branch of the Cabarrus Library on Thursday, May the 7th at 4.30 p.m. Simply call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. It's that time of year, David. Yes, it is. It's time for the return of Thursdays on Main oh, with absolutely. the band Sound Barrier. Oh, yeah. Booming in your town Thursday, May 7th from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., yes. right? It's lunchtime. Yes. Each Thursday, under the oak trees of beautiful oh, Veterans beautiful. Park in Kannapolis, not to be confused with Vietnam Veterans Park. That's true. This is Veterans Park in downtown Kannapolis. Bring your lunch and listen to performances by various musicians ranging from bluegrass to classical to country and rock music. Sounds right? Like Other plan. bands performing in May include the Chris Marks Band, Elaney Jones Band, and Exit 54 Ooh, Band. Sounds good. For more information on Thursdays on Main, beginning Thursday, May 7th, from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Veterans Park on the corner of North and Main Street in Kannapolis, call 704-920-4343 or visit cityofkannapolis.com. Now, the much-anticipated third installment in the Tuna Trilogy is going to take audience through another satirical ride into the hearts and minds of the polyester-clad citizens of Texas's third smallest town. Now, you know there are the two other installments, right. right? Do you know their names? No, I do not. It's Greater Tuna and Tuna Christmas. Oh, okay. Two of the best plays I've ever seen. They are hilarious. And well, Tuna is the town. Is the town. Yes. Yeah. The third smallest town in Texas. Yeah, that's okay. true. <laughs> According to the script. Okay, now, Red, White, and Tuna comes to the Old Courthouse Theater as part of the 2014 and 15 season, and that's going to be starting on Thursday, May the 7th at 8 p.m. Performances will continue through May, and they also include matinees on Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Now, along with their favorites, there's, there's, we're going to jump into the July Tuna High School Class Reunion. Now, this sets up a whole stage full of fireworks, fun, where the land, where the Lions Club is too liberal, and Patsy Cline never dies. But you have to go the see Tuna that. The Tuna Trilogy is such a fantastic and entertaining series of plays. I highly, highly recommend it. Haven't seen Red, White, and Tuna, but I think I made this time. Absolutely. So, like Kasha, you have more information on the Red, White, and Tuna opening on Thursday, May the 7th at 8 p.m. The Old Courthouse Theater. Just visit oldcourthousetheater.org or call 704-788-2405. Now, some of you may recall Cotton Stock, Spring Fest, Village Fest, or the Village Jiggy Jam. Mm -hmm. Now, the Jiggy has found, the Piggy has found its Jiggy. <laughs> okay, and the good. Dyslexic has found her script. The name may have changed over the years, but the fun is the same at Jiggy with the Piggy in downtown Kannapolis on May 8th and 9th. Uh -huh. As you know, barbecue is taken very seriously in this part of the oh, Carolinas. Absolutely. The Jiggy with the Piggy Barbecue Challenge welcomes more than 50 competition teams from the Carolinas, Virginia, and Tennessee and they're all coming to compete for Grand Champion and earn points to be named the 2015 Old North State Grand Champion. Absolutely, that's a big title. Yes, teams will also compete for People's Choice Awards, Friday Night Swings Throwdown, and Saturday's Choice Pork Challenge. No. My Ooh. gosh, this sounds so good. I'm I, hungry yeah, already. I, I'm glad. I'm glad for you. <laughs> the 2015 competition site is on the lawn at the beautiful North Carolina Research Campus. The smell of smokers and sauce may fill the air, but this 35-year-old tradition also hosts over 100 
arts and crafts Ooh. vendors concerts, a 5K walk and run, a car cruising, Friday night outdoor movie, part of the 600 festival actually, an all you can eat pancake breakfast at Cannon Memorial YMCA, and the National Train Day events at the train station, of course. Of course. For more information and a complete list of times and events for the Jiggy with the Piggy and Village Jiggy Jam Festival taking place Friday, May 8th and Saturday, May 9th in downtown Kannapolis, visit JiggyWithThePiggy.com. You know, all you can eat pancakes and all the barbecue. Well, I'm just going to spend the night there. I, that just, just sounds like... Just roll your way yeah, from yeah, one absolutely. side of the lawn to the other. Uh, absolutely. Now, the Girl Scouts are invited to camp at Camp Spencer Park for Girl Scouts Weekend. That's coming up on May 8th and 9th. Now, girls can stay the weekend while earning their badges. Now, the cost is only $5 per class and $5 to camp overnight. Now, lunch is provided daily, and the classes include bugs. I guess, I guess you get to play with them. And trees, flowers, camper... You got animal habitats, you got night owl, you got litter boxing, and a whole lot more. I don't know what more you want after you got bugs. Mm -hmm. So for more information or to register for Girl Scout Weekend, taking place on Friday, May the 8th, and Saturday, May the 9th. At Camp Spencer Park, just call 704-920-3484 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash on CTW. The Concord Friends of the Library Movie Discussion Group concludes the spring season with a family classic starring John Mills, Dorothy McGuire, and James MacArthur based on the novel Swiss Family Robinson. Mm, okay. I wonder what movie it is. The uh. film will begin at 2 p.m. on Saturday, May 9th at the Concord branch of the Cabarrus Library. Now loosely based upon the novel, this adventure is the tale of a shipwrecked family's struggle for survival on a deserted island. The novel was originally written to teach Wise's son about the family values of farming, the use of natural world, and self-reliance. However, the film makes many substantial changes to the plot of the original book, so I'm sure there's going to be a great discussion right. of the novel's differences and at the con conclusion of the movie. Right. But I just can't get that movie out of my head. It's one of my favorites well, as a kid. Good. And when I go to that go. theme park that produced the movie, right. I love climbing the treehouse. So oh, okay. so much fun. So much fun. And then you think of the pipe organ and everyone gathered around and singing and then the pirates and it's all too much. Flashbacks. All right. So you're going to join Amanda Wilkerson, the children's librarian, for this discussion of the movie, right? The movie is in the 1960s version, rated G, and not the 1998 new movie, which I did not even know right. existed. No, no, I didn't see that. No, none of that. For more information on the movie discussion group at the Concord branch of the Cabarrus Library on Saturday, May 9th at 2 p.m., call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash, that's right, on CTW. Now, Cabarrus County is home to many military veterans. Now, they've come home from active duty, and some veterans find themselves confronting legal problems. Now, the Kannapolis and Mount Pleasant branches of the Cabarrus Library are hosting a program with Nan Allison, a paralegal advocate for legal services of Southern Piedmont. She is discussion, going to be discussing kind of civil legal matters that relate to veterans' military service and other civil legal matters. Now, the Kannapolis Branch Program is on Tuesday, May the 5th at 6.30 p.m. To register, just call 704-920-1180. And the Mount Pleasant Branch Program is on Tuesday, May the 12th at 6.30 p.m. To register, just call 704-920-2311. So for more information on the Veterans Legal Services Project, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. More than 2,000 students in Cabarrus County were homeschooled during the 2013-14 school year. How interesting is that? You can connect with homeschool organizations and other homeschool families at an informal drop-in program hosted by the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus Library on Wednesday, May 13th, beginning at 2.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Participants can learn about the library and its many e-resources, plus find out what's happening at the YMCA, Kannapolis Parks and Recreation, and you can also discover the benefits of 4-H. To register for more information on Homeschool Resource Day at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus Library on Wednesday, May 13th from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m., call 704-920-1180 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. Now, Cabarrus County is one of the sponsors of the annual Haulers on Union Parade. Now, that's an event that Coca-Cola 600 Festival puts on. 
more than 40 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series haulers are going to make their way down Union Street in Concord for the Haulers on Parade on Tuesday, May the 14th. Now the haulers are expected to hit Union Street around 5.45 p.m., but that's just part of the fun. Now prior to the parade, you can stop by right now in Concord to enjoy the Fan Fest. It's a staging location for all the haulers, so you can grab your free t-shirt, get a few autographs. The Fan Fest will take place from 1 to 4.30 p.m. Following the hauler parade, enjoy the sounds. The Route 66, what an appropriate band, okay? Mm -hmm. On the lawn of the historic Cabarrus County Courthouse, or participate in the Downtown Concord Cocktail Crawl. Now there's five locations in Downtown Concord will be creating kind of a custom cocktail using Concord's own Sun Drop 130. Sun dog. Sun dog, that's right. Sun dog and sun dog get you two very different results. Yes, that is sun dog 130. Okay, so just before the parade on Union Street at 5 p.m., a very special Vietnam Veterans commemorative program will include a military band and a reception for the veterans. This program is part of the U.S. Vietnam War commemorative partner program and features POW Colonel J. Quincy Collins, Jr. So for more information on the Haulers on Union on May 14th and other events of the 600 Festival, simply visit 600festival.com. Now I know we've had a lot of different information on today's show, so if you missed any of the contact information, just go to cabarruscounty.us, put in your topic in the search box, and you should find out what you're looking for. That's right. We also want you to sign up for our newsletter. It's so easy. It comes to you once a week, you know, just enough. Absolutely. It's got all this information more. Go to cabarruscounty.us. On the top right, fill out, sign up for your newsletter, mm -hmm. give us a little bit of information, it'll come your way. We also want you to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. There are thousands of people in Cabarrus so, County following us, and you know why? We've got information on special events, commissioner right. meetings, and we help you find out what to do in times of emergency. Only Absolutely. one place to go for that. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, or maybe you just want to watch us when you get a chance, well, go to CabarrusCounty.us. Right there on the homepage, you can scroll down the lower left, see a video screen, and right below it, it says More Channel 22 Programs. Click on that. All the thumbnails of all the different programs that we have pop up, and you can enjoy yourself and watch all kinds of different programs. Okay, I tell you what. If you missed the D.A.R.E. Carnival this year, you got to make it next year because this is an annual event, a lot of fun, and it goes to a great cause to help train all these D.A.R.E. officers to overwatch and watch over all our children in the schools. So, and until next week, you have a great one. Take care.